State police finally identified the killer in a 1964 cold case from Hazleton. Today we're learning how this development is hitting home with another woman. After 57 years, genetic genealogy led authorities to James Paul Fort. The man from Hazleton was just 22 years old when troopers say he kidnapped, raped and murdered nine year old Maurice Ann Chivarella. Fort died from natural causes in 1980, so he cannot be prosecuted for the girl's murder. While they cannot be certain, state troopers do not believe that Maurice Chivarella was Fort's only victim. Today, Newswatch 16's Chelsea Stroop spoke with a woman from Hazleton who believes she also had an encounter with Fort many years ago. Chelsea joins us live outside our Wyoming Valley newsroom tonight. That's right. Good evening, Scott and Lisa. Gina Donahue Connors tells us she was about nine or 10 years old when a man tried to kidnap her blocks away from where Maurice was kidnapped a few years earlier. After yesterday's announcement, Gina says she finally has a name to put to the face that's been in her mind for more than 50 years. Gina Donahue Connors grew up walking up and down Alter Street in Hazleton. In the same neighborhood, nine year old Marie Chivarella called home. Gina was just a girl when she says on this corner of 3rd and Alter Streets, a man in a car stopped and offered her and her friend a ride. Yeah, I used to tell my kid that's how much it affected me. I mean, that was, it doesn't sound scary like, you know, maybe that does, it probably does happen, but it's the only time it happened to be. So, it, you know, it stuck with me all my life. Gina tells Newswatch 16 she was four years old at the time of Maurice's murder, and she says it changed the tone of the city. Her parents didn't allow her to leave her front porch alone, but those rules got a little more relaxed about five years later. Because nothing came of it. The police were, you know, there was nothing. So uh, they finally, you know, let us go out and start walking around. And that's how I came upon him with my friend. I was about nine or ten years old. Just a block from where the Chivarellas once owned a store. This corner right behind me here, and he pulled up a white car. I mean, my, my memory is just so vivid. And now that I saw his picture yesterday, I'm like, that's him. Gina believes it was the same man, James Paul Fort, who kidnapped and murdered Marie Chivarella, who tried to get her into his car. And he uh, uh, rolled down the window and he said, come on, we'll give you a ride. I will give you a ride. And we said, no, we want to walk. No, that's okay, go. And he wouldn't leave. Okay, come on, no, 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 come on, we'll give you a ride. So that was it. My parents always said, just run. We went around the car and into this a old A&P behind me, got a clerk. I just remember being in there quite a while. I don't know, did they call my mother? Did they call the police? Now that part, I can't remember. Gina says when state police announced they had discovered Maurice's killer, it made her think about this encounter. And now that she's made the connection, it brings her closure, but still makes her uneasy. I'm still shaking. I mean, even just thinking about it. And at that time, that's unusual for somebody to pull up like that, because this was a quiet little town. Nothing like that ever happened. Gina tells us she feels for all the families involved, but speaking with us for that short time this morning did help her feel a little bit better and bring her some closure. State police do say if you think you had an encounter with James Paul Fort, you are asked to please contact your local state police. Chelsea Stroob, Newswatch 16 reporting live in Luzerne County.